Okay, so if you're watching this video, then that should mean that you are ready to start drafting your essay, and you're gonna start with your introduction paragraph. Um, so what you're going to need to have out is you should have out the essay organizer on page six of the packet we started in class. Um, and you should know what your three survival factors are that you chose for Selva. Um, so we're gonna get started writing introduction paragraph for a long walk to water. So hopefully you're ready to go. Um, if you need to get your supplies out before you continue this video, then just press pause and you can continue in just a second. Uh, in, a, in a second, I'm going to show you on my screen what my introduction paragraph looks like. I'm going to write an introduction paragraph about Naya, not Selva, so just make sure you don't get confused. You're writing about Selva, I'm writing about Naya. Here comes my example. The title and author of the book. So it says, in the book, A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. So that's not a complete sentence yet. I need to finish that sentence, but it gives me the title and the author of the book. Now I want to go ahead and I want to start giving a little bit of a summary. Seems how I'm writing about Naya. In my summary, I'm going to focus on her. I'm going to kind of ignore Selva because I'm not writing about him. In yours, you're mostly going to focus on Selva for your summary. So my summary will look like this. Naya is a young girl living in southern Sudan whose entire life revolves around fetching water for her family. Then, uh, So that gives me a general idea of her. Now I'm going to go a step further. I'm going to say she does this every day until visitors come to her village and eventually drill a well, which changes her life. So that's my summary of the book. I did it in two sentences. You could do yours. Seems how Selva's part of the story is a lot longer. Maybe yours will take three sentences. I wouldn't do any more than four sentences, though, for your summary. And now the last thing that my introduction needs is that I need to give my claim for the whole essay. You could call it a thesis, a claim, a focus statement, whatever you want to say it is. I need a sentence that tells people what my main idea is. So the essay is about what factors helped Naya survive. Yours is about what factors helped Selva survive. So my last sentence should simply name the factors that helped Naya survive. So mine is going to look like this. Until this well is built, Naya is in constant danger, but she survives by her toughness, her persistence, and help from others. So it's this last phrase right here that is my thesis. She survives by, and then I list the factors. I could have just um, answered the question directly and said the factors that allow Naya to survive are. So your introduction is going to look a lot like this, except you're talking about Selva instead of about Naya. Good luck. So now that you have those instructions on the introduction paragraph, you are just going to go in Google Classroom, you are going to go to the file called Final Copy Survival Essay, and you're just going to start typing your introduction paragraph where it says, where it tells you to write. Um, if you can't find that file, may, you might need to click into the assignment on Google Classroom first and then scroll down, but it should be there. If you can't figure it out, raise your hand and ask for help. Um, somebody should be able to help you find that file and go ahead, type your introduction paragraph now. 